The ancestor of the rhinoceros evolved in India 55 million years ago. Millions of their kin spread across Africa and Asia. But today, they're almost gone because some think one part of their body is worth killing for. Hey D-Newsers, Trace here. Rhino horn has been valued since antiquity for use as a medium for handles and carvings. It's widely loved for its beauty. But in 1597, Li Shi Chen wrote a medical paper stating rhino horn was a cure-all for keeping away evil spirits and miasmas for poisoning, to keep away nightmares and hallucinations for typhoid, fevers, colds, convulsions, dysentery, vomiting, arthritis, melancholia, loss of the voice, and so on. But Li Shi Chen didn't add scientific evidence into this document. It was used for thousands of years in traditional Chinese medicine until in 1993, rhino horn was outlawed. And according to TCM expert Li Xin Huang, it was never used alone and always with herbs. After the ban, they came up with alternatives that allegedly did the same thing. Today, despite these bans, some in Vietnam believe that the horn can assuage hangovers and headaches and even cure cancer. Because of this, a single three kilo horn can be worth $300,000 there. That's more than gold. What is wrong with people? Because it's been banned, there's not a lot of data on whether rhino horn is any kind of medicine or not. Most cite a single study done with the horn claiming it didn't work any better than aspirin at curing headaches. To figure out whether there was any basis to it being a cure-all, I looked up studies of the construction and composition of rhino horn. One by the Zoological Society of London analyzed the chemicals in rhino horn, finding it's highly determined by what that rhino eats over its lifetime. They're all different. Some eat succulents, others eat grasses, so each rhino horn is unique. Also, a study out of Ohio State scanned and broke down the horns, finding exactly what the structures looked like in there, noting they were mostly constructed of keratin, with a calcium and melanin core, so they got harder as it's sharpened from use in battle with other rhinos, kind of like a big pencil, which is cool. They also called it a cornified papillary epidermal appendage and classified it as similar to bird beaks, hair, fingernails, and skin-based structures. The horns are basically similar to the construction of hooves. Now, if the horn is made of regular old calcium, nitrogen, carbon, and such found in nature and is basically keratin, could that keratin have a medicinal benefit? The Journal of Anatomy analyzed every type of keratin checking out the pH, structure, atomic polarization and handedness, molecular weight, chemical characteristic, genetic basis, source, evolution, and even association with human culture, which brings us full circle. The closest mention of it as a medicine was keratin K23, where it could be used to treat pancreatic cancer. But that's not found in rhino, but in the cytoskeleton of the human pancreas. In extensive studies of keratin as a biomaterial for medical applications, no one has yet found anything that I could turn up to turn keratin into medicine. That being said, studies in China did find rhino horn had statistically significant pharmacological effects on inflammation, pain relief, and a bunch of other things. But according to the Convention on International Trade and Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, or CITES, their results couldn't be replicated in other studies done in the UK or South Africa. So maybe, it's just a placebo, which means it's not the rhino horn at all, but the raw human belief that it makes us better. We've done plenty of videos on the placebo effect and its power. Perhaps people in Vietnam believe it works and thus it works for them. But so far, the for-profit biomedical industry has yet to find proof of it. And if rhino horn did have a medical benefit, we'd have found it, synthesized it, and would be selling its effects in Western medicine too. Within 10 years, there will be no more of this animal in the wild ever again on this planet. We humans will have made this species extinct. We did this for rhino horn. But maybe we can stop its extinction with 3D printing. I know it sounds crazy, but my friend Laura Ling visited a company where they want to try and 3D print replacement horns for the rhino to try and save them. It's weird, but it's fascinating. Check it out. We combined inorganics, metals, minerals, as well as other proteins. And we also incorporated real rhino DNA into it as well. And then from there we were thinking, how can we get this into chunks and then eventually bigger and bigger shapes that will resemble a real rhino horn? And we ended up kind of designing our own 3D printer, using our powder to really build up a, an actual horn. What do you think? How can we save this incredible and ancient animal? Any ideas? Subscribe to DNews and please let us know down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.